Hi there, this is Vivian Rose, Evangelist Vivian Rose. Welcome back to the Two Shall Be One, the Two Shall Be One channel. And um, this is just a short word for you guys today. As you can see, we are organizing and preparing for our singles tour. And yes, we are going to come to the States. And yes, we are going to come across the UK. And yes, we are going to get to Africa. But I just want you to know that our first one is the 10th of March, which is this Saturday, the 10th of March, this Saturday in Birmingham in UK. If you can get there at all, I do not need to say much because it is not just going to be me there with our ministry partners, our intercessors, but it is going to be men of God who God himself has commissioned to partner with us, to support us and to come and pray, interceding and releasing singles into marriage supernaturally. Listen, when God speaks to his servants from two, three different nations to fly in simply because he has commanded them to go and release his daughters and sons into marriage. When they are flying in, my question to you is, where are you? My question to you is, where are you? For those of you who genuinely you're in a different nation, I understand. But I am telling you, there is something going on that is beyond me. There is something going on that is bigger than you or me. God himself is saying he is coming down to release his daughters and sons into marriage supernaturally. I cannot stress to you if there's any way, if you are in the UK or around the UK and you can get a plane, bus or train up to Birmingham or down to Birmingham in UK. We have people coming from Glasgow. The man of God is coming from Prague. Another one is coming from South Africa. Another one is coming from London. And we're all meeting and convening in Birmingham. And this, by the way, has been by a divine revelation. God said to us, start in Birmingham. So there is someone or people in Birmingham that God knows supernaturally. You may be, you may be at the time where you have lost hope, but the father is saying, no, now is your time. We will make sure to record it. We will make sure to um, 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 record the audios. And I pray to have some of them out for you. If not next week, I know that we'll have some on download and um, you can purchase them on download, but whatever happens, you know, we will try our best to make sure that they will be available for you. But the word that God gave for me, number um, to speak to those of you now, um, I was meant to release it last week, but I just, honestly, it was just time that has me not able to release it. But he spoke and said, position your heart for the supernatural. Position your heart for the supernatural. And very quickly, positioning your heart or positioning your faith or positioning your life for the supernatural. The first step you have to have is position yourself to believe, to believe the God keeps coming back to this. It means that many of us are still trying to look at this critically. You're still trying to ask God, how can this happen? And many of you, you were like a Mary, the angel of the Lord came to Mary and you may not have an angel right now, but I am in place of an angel. I have been sent as the messenger of the most high to say, blessed are you women among women. You know that there is a message you have been chosen and appointed. Yes, you, you, the one that you have been written off. You, the one that they have called and labeled names. You, the one that have that those children. You, the one that has had that immoral lifestyle. You, the man that people have said is a player. Yes, you. You, the man that has tried in another relationship. You have failed. Yes, you that have got divorced. That is the person God is speaking to. Yes, you that is the broken one. You, that is the one that they say that it can never happen for. You are the one God is coming for. It is not only the people who look right. It is not only the people who talk right it is for the people that believe the bible says in acts 10 he said that you know god shows no partiality no partiality with men that whoever works righteousness believes and works righteousness is accepted by him whoever whoever means you can put your name in there the three things you need to do to position yourself is you need to believe you need to work righteousness and you will be accepted by God and you will receive the breakthrough of the supernatural. So the first thing is you need to believe you need to be like Mary. You may ask in your heart, how can this be? How can this happen to me? But Mary, when she understood that it's by the power of the Holy Ghost, it is not by your many words. It is not by you doing, you know, all kinds of practical things and going out there looking for a man and dressing up. And it is is not by you chatting up 20,000 women. No, it is by the supernatural. He said the power of the Lord 
the, the, the will overshadow you of the Holy Spirit will overshadow you and by by the power of the Holy Spirit he she will conceive and she will have a son and by the same power of the Holy Spirit by the same power of the Lord overshadowing you you can and conceive and receive a husband and a wife supernaturally but you need to position your heart to receive that supernatural breakthrough amen in Jesus name and what did Mary say she said let it be unto me according to your word that was her point of faith her point of faith was saying I've never heard of this before I don't even quite understand what it is I don't even quite understand what's going to happen because if she knew what's going to happen I'm telling you she would have backtracked but she just stood there and said let it be unto me according to your word and that is the prayer you need to pray for yourself that the things that I am speaking they are not motivational they are spiritual and you've got to discern them by the spirit and you've got to receive them by the spirit but you've got to receive it by the spirit of faith faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God so receive it by faith receive it by faith I spoke to you John 5 6 that the Lord himself came across a man in John 5 6 who had been ill and lame lying by the pool of Bethsaida for 38 years and Jesus came straight to that man among all the ill men, he came to that man and said, do you want to be made well? And the man began to give excuses. And this is the same scenario now that you were looking at yourself. You're looking around and you're saying, why is Jesus coming to me? How come it is me that has heard this message? Can I, can I really believe it? Yes, you can believe it because the power of Jesus Christ is in his spirit. The power of his, of Jesus Christ is in his word. And the Bible says that has he spoken and will he not make it good? But he always looks for a womb of faith you cannot receive it if you have not got the room of faith but if you have the womb of faith and you are willing to work righteousness that is the second thing that he said to me positioning yourself positioning yourself and your heart for supernatural is working righteousness and I want to read it from a story of a sinful woman in Luke 7 it said this Pharisees asked him to eat with them Luke 7 36 the Pharisees asked Jesus to eat with them and he went to the Pharisees house and sat down and a woman in the city who was a sinner another version says she was an immoral woman a woman in the city who was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at the table in the Pharisee's house, she brought an alabaster flask of fragrant oil and stood at his feet. She stood behind him weeping. She began to wash his feet with her tears. She wiped them with her hair of head and she kissed his feet and she anointed them with the fragrant oil. Now remember, when you read down, you will see that the Pharisees in their heart began to say, if Jesus knew that this, if Jesus was really a prophet, he would know what kind of woman this was. So this was a woman that was known for immorality. This was a woman that had been labeled in society. This was a woman that, you know, was proud practicing iniquity and I just want you to understand that you may be a woman or even a man that yes that was your history but that does not have to be your testimony that was your history your history is the label of what you were doing or what you did and in fact it was not Jesus did not say she did not do those things she did them she did them and God is saying, I am not going to hold your past against you. If you will position yourself to love me the way this woman loved me. If you will position yourself to give me your fragrant oil. Give me your fragrant oil. What is fragrant oil? Fragrant oil is that sacrifice. Fragrant oil is that worship. Fragrant oil is that dedication. Fragrant oil is you coming to Christ and saying, Lord, I know I am a sinner. But from today henceforth, I'm turning away from my moral lifestyle. I'm turning away from the things I used to do. And I am pressing forward and I'm saying, Lord, forgive me. Lord, cleanse me. I thank you and I appreciate it. Yes, people will still call you names. Yes, they may still look down on you. But God is saying that if you will not worry about those around you, but you will worry about what God is saying about you, you will position your heart for the supernatural. You will receive grace because where sin abounds, grace more abounds. And you are saved by faith, but, uh, through grace by faith. And it is not of ourselves. It is the gift of God that no man may boast. You will be delivered. You will be saved. You will be cleansed. The grace of God will enable you to walk right. The grace of God will enable you to walk right. I am speaking to somebody by the spirit that you have tried many times. You have compromised many times. But the Lord is saying, come out this time by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out of that immoral lifestyle. 
Show the love of God. Position your heart in love for him and you will receive mercy. And you, the person that they have labeled, is the same person that they will see testifying of the goodness of God in the land of the living. Amen. She had her fragrant oil because that is what she had. Maybe she saved it up by her immoral acts. You know, whatever it was that she did, she had something that was so special. But you know what is most special to God is giving him your life. Give Jesus your life for real, for real. Not just talking Jesus, not just talking, you know, the way Christians say, praise God, but give him your life. Give him your attention. Give him your heart. Give him your thanks. Give him your worship. Give him every mess that you believe you've become. Give it to him and see what he does with it. See what he does with it. Give him 12 months in his presence. Give him 12 months in the word of God. Give him 12 months in worship. Give him dedication. Because this woman was dedicated. She came in in the midst of those that were judging her, that were looking down upon her, that knew who she was. But she still gave him her all in the midst of mockery, in the midst of her being despised, in the midst of her being called names. She didn't even turn aside. She didn't even answer them. Do not answer your accusers because the blood of Jesus has washed you clean from the day that you concern yourself and you confess your sins to God. From the day that you come to him and you admit that, yes, I am, that yes, I have not stood right. Yes, I have not lived right, but Lord, I love you and I want to be with you. When you position yourself in loving God, you will be commended by the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, look at what he said to Simon. He said in verse 40, Jesus answered, said to Simon, I have something to say to you. And Simon said, teacher, say it. There was a certain creditor who had two debtors. One owed him 500 denarii and the other 50. And when they had nothing with which to repay, one free he freely forgave both of them. Now tell me which one of them will love him more. And Simon answered and said, I suppose the one whom he forgave more. And he said, you have rightly judged. The one who what he forgave more, loves more. Then he turned to the woman and said, do you see this woman? I entered your house. You didn't give me water for my feet, but she's washed my feet with her tears. You see, she has given me something of herself. Yes, you can go to the feet of Jesus Christ. You can weep before him in his presence and he appreciates it. He, he knows where you've come from, but he appreciates the fact that out of all the ones that he has called, it was you that responded. It was you that said yes. It was you that said, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Jesus will never despise you. He said, any man who comes to me, I will in no wise despise. I will no way turn that person away. I know Jesus knows your history. He knows what you've gone into, what you've come out of. I and he doesn't care. He will not use your past against you. But he expects you to renounce your past. Hallelujah. This woman had renounced her past. She was saying with those tears that in the midst of all these people, they know my history. But I'm going to still worship you. And I'm going to make it public that I am with you. I am for you. And I appreciate you, Jesus. And he said, he who loves more, um, he who sinned, was forgiven much, loved much. He said, you, you gave me no water for my feet. She's washed my feet with her tears. She's wiped them with the hair of her he head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman has not ceased to kiss my feet since the time I came in. You did not anoint my head with oil, but this woman has anointed my feet with fragrant oil. Hallelujah. That's that word again. Fragrant oil, fragrant oil, her fragrant worship, her fragrant thanksgiving, fragrant appreciation. She has given me something precious. What precious thing do you have for the Lord? The first and foremost thing is not what you have in your hand but what you have in your heart what you have in your heart and what you have in your heart will express itself through what you do through who you obey and then what you have in your hand did you hear me what you have in your heart towards the Lord Jesus Christ, if you truly appreciate and truly want the grace of God to not only forgive, but to cleanse you. And if you truly want to position yourself for the supernatural, I want you to understand that Jesus just wants your love. He wants your heart, all of it, all of it. He wants you to express your love totally. Whatever is in your heart will come out of your mouth and will be shown with your action. You will turn away from certain things. It may be pricey now, but you will rejoice later. It may be pricey now, but you will be restored. You will have a testimony in your mouth 
Amen. In the name of Jesus. And this has got everything to do with supernatural marriage because the power of Jesus is in the supernatural. He was birthed supernaturally. He walked on this earth as a supernatural being. He died a supernatural death and he was raised supernaturally. Hallelujah. So by the power of his supernatural spirit, that is the only way you can receive the blessing of God into your life. But you've got to position yourself. You know, she did all these things and he said, they, therefore her sins, which are many are forgiven for she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. And he said to her, your sins are forgiven. So just like that, when you position yourself for the supernatural, your history is wiped out just like that. In the eyes of the Lord, he said, behold, any man who is in Christ, any man who is in Christ is a new creation. Remember what he said? In, um, um, where was that? In 1 Corinthians or 2 Corinthians 5 is a new creation. He said, behold, all things are passed away and all things have become new. If you want a fresh start, if you've been in cycles, cycles of relationships, cycles of, of, of death, cycles of broken heartedness, cycles of abuse, you can come out of it. But you've got to position yourself for the supernatural and you've got to begin to love much. You've got to, first of all, believe. Believe that this word is for you. Believe that God knows the plans he has for you. And from the beginning of time, he had a mate for you. He had a spouse for you, a covenant man and a covenant woman, a covenant man to be your husband if you're a woman and a covenant woman to be your wife if you're a man. Jesus is a specialist. He's a specialist at taking the least and lifting them up to be the greatest. He's a specialist at these things. And he just wants you to position your heart because many feel that they are too big for this word. Many are, are bringing their academic mind to this word. And God is looking for those who will simply be like Mary and receive the word. But it takes you working righteousness. Working righteousness means turning away from unrighteousness. Whatever the Bible calls immoral is immoral. Whatever the Bible talks against, if God is against, hallelujah. And whatever God is for, he is for. And his grace is there. When you come to him, the woman did not say, how will I stop it? What will I do? You listen, whatever we do not know how she, how she continued. The Bible does not tell us, but I'm telling you one thing that her destiny was changed from that day because publicly she was recommended by the Lord. Publicly she was forgiven and publicly she was restored. And Jesus would have continued to make her life a living testimony. So you need to work righteousness. You need to believe that you are able and you do qualify to receive supernatural marriage from the hand of the Lord. But you need to decide to work righteousness. And when you do that, Bible says you will be accepted by God. And when you are accepted by him, the Lord, the word of God says, I know the thoughts I have towards you, says the Lord, to give you a, um, a hope, a future and an expected end. So I just want to encourage you, woman of God, man of God, brother and sister. I just want to encourage you, whoever you are, whatever state or situation this word will find you. If you will position yourself to love the Lord your God, literally there's something about loving God that God appreciates because God is love. But there is something about those that literally give their all to him and say, you know what? I'm, I may have nobody else. Everybody may hate on you, but Jesus loves me. And I want to be a friend. I will befriend him against all odds. He will stand with you and he will make your life a living testimony. We have received at least two testimonies of men that are supernaturally coming to the lives of women. And I just want to encourage you. It is going to get more and more. You can be one of them. Your life can be one of them. It may not happen overnight, but if you will sustain, Sustain your love for Christ Jesus. If you will keep yourself in his presence, if you will continue to seek him, because this is the season that he has supernaturally designed for, for singles to be released into marriage supernaturally, you will be found in the place where Jesus will find you. Where that man was seated at that time at the pool of Bethesda was where Jesus was passing by. So he received his miracle, not because he was even expecting it, but because he was at the right place at the right time. And the right place is when Jesus is walking by and he's walking by today. Why? Because you have received this word. He is walking by today. Why? Because he has sent me to talk to you. He is walking by today. Why? Because you have been in this special place in the generation and situation where you're able to tap into what I'm saying, no matter the nation you 
may live in, you have been supernaturally connected to this word. So that means that Jesus is walking by. And by the power of Jesus, he said that the, the, the man's excuses became nothing. His history became nothing. His 38 years became nothing. One question came. Do you want to be made well? And when the man was saying all kinds of things, Jesus said, listen, I am here now. It, he said, rise up. Take up your beg and walk. He didn't use the pool. He simply used the supernatural power that was in his mouth. And he raised up that man. And the man took up his bed and was made whole. That is what it means by the supernatural. The supernatural will literally cut out years of waiting, years of delay, years of disappointment, years of abuse, years of misbehavior. The supernatural will literally dig you out of the hole that you are in and set you at liberty. The supernatural power of God is able to connect you with a man from another nation. Is able to connect you with a woman from another state. Is able to connect you with somebody that is even just next door that you've never known. Is able to connect you with an ex that you thought was gone. God is able to do whatever he wants to do. But he's saying position your heart. Position your heart for the supernatural. Believe. Work righteousness. Pour out your fragrant oil. Your fragrant oil by the spirit of God. He will, he will literally work in you to pour out your fragrant oil. What is that? That may be a seed. That may be dedication. That may be in service. That may be in, in obedience. Whatever it is. Where is your fragrant oil? It will be costly, but it will be worth it. Because he is worth it. Whatever it is, your fragrant oil is what the Lord is looking for. Your dedication is what the Lord is looking for. Your heart is what the Lord is looking for. Your obedience is what the Lord is looking for. You're not turning back to sin is what the Lord is looking for. Hallelujah. Your repentance is what the Lord is looking for. Praying for yourself and for your family is what the Lord is looking for. Your commitment to his word and to his counsel, to his will is what the Lord is looking for. Hallelujah. That is your fragrant oil. God bless you so much. And I encourage those of you who are in the UK turn up don't sit down and say oh i've got to get a train i've got to get a plane because you know what the men of god are coming in and i am going to be there not only releasing the word but the lord said we're going to deal with the root causes of marriage delay disappointment and divorce we're going to de de deal with root causes so that once and for all you will have a supernatural miracle that within 12 months you will be aligned with your rightful spouse in the mighty name of jesus what a powerful word what a powerful commitment the lord has made to us but what is going to be your response for those of you who feel led i just encourage you as well to sow a seed there are so many financial overheads i am not a church I go to a church, but I'm not a church. This ministry is a prayer ministry. It is a teaching ministry. And this ministry is a ministry of intercession. This ministry is a prophetic ministry. But we do not have any, uh, I wouldn't say we have, you know, specifically, we don't have any church or any financial backing. It is by the partners of the ministry. So I am just encouraging and calling out to those of you who feel led to, if you can sow a seed into this ministry, I will put up a link underneath this video and you can pay it through PayPal or maybe through the link on Eventbrite. But whichever one it is, I just encourage you that if you can sow into it, it is all going to be your fragrant oil. And you know, we have names of people that have been given to us by email and those names are going to the altar for prayer. The same same way we'll be there physically you will be there by name so i encourage you to log on to the website um and the two shall be one.com and make sure um the two shall be one.com forward slash get in touch the two shall be one.com forward slash get in touch the link will be underneath this this audio but i encourage you as well go there make sure your email is there submit your name because you see the intercession that we are creating we are creating a healing pool for marriages by intercession it doesn't matter where you are but by agreement you know we're bringing our names by agreement and if you were going to accompany your name with a seed i would much appreciate it because there is a lot of financial expense for this tour but I am committed, I am dedicated and our team are dedicated to doing what the Lord has commanded to do because there are too many singles in the church who have been crying out to God and God has finally come down and said, yes, I am coming. I am releasing my, my children. I am releasing my people. I am releasing singles into marriage supernaturally, but there is a response that I need from them also. Hallelujah. God bless you. This is Vivian Rose. Evangelist Vivian Rose. I love you as I always say and I will speak to you again after. I will speak to you next week, okay, after the the first leg of the tour. God bless you. Pray for me even as I pray for you guys. In Jesus name. God bless. Amen. Bye.
Hi there, this is Vivian Rose, Evangelist Vivian Rose. Welcome back to the Two Shall Be One, the Two Shall Be One channel. And um, this is just a short word for you guys today. As you can see, we are organizing and preparing for our singles tour. And yes, we are going to come to the States. And yes, we are going to come across the UK. And yes, we are going to get to Africa.